everybody this is not a spring chicken. If you believe in religious rights, it was to, well actually, if you believe in the, the Constitution, religious rights have totally been shredded this morning as what lifestyle choices are trumping religious beliefs. I know, and if you go, what? What's happening all across the U.S. or has been happening is permits have been being pulled for St. Patrick's Day parades. And for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines out today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, the Republican Party basically stands on the opposite side of everything the Democrats stand for. Oh, no, that's right. They're saying there's going to be a political massacre for the Democrats this fall. Said so not only are they not going to gain the House back, they may lose as many as 14 seats in the Senate. They got The Democrats are holding um, 25 of the seats that are up, and they think 14 are now vulnerable. They figure the Democrats are going to take, may take four Republican seats because they figure, well, McCain's a Democrat, Graham's a, Demo a Democrat, McConnell's a Democrat, and um, uh, and one of the women is a Demo uh, Democrat. So if they lose, one person said, if our Tea Party candidate doesn't win, it doesn't make any difference because they'll vote with the president every single time on every spending bill. Mm -hmm. And president continues to operate as independent of all laws. Well, yeah, he he has total contempt for the Constitution, like his condemning. The parade in the St. Patrick's Day in Boston. Oh gosh. Yeah, and he basically he has like our Constitution gives. Okay, this country. Remember the Puritans and all those people that came to this country seeking religious freedom. They have now been told that the spot, the piece that was put in by a guy that really didn't believe in in God, was Thomas Jefferson, is not valid in our nation anymore. Yeah. Your religious beliefs are now trumped by people's lifestyle choices. And it, it, you know, like I said, it, it, like I go quote. I think I talked to, um, you know, to uh, you know some of the most hardline Republicans that ever existed that are dead, long dead. But they said, you know, if it, if it's an illness, they'll support you till the day they die. But if it's a lifestyle choice, they'll condemn you to the day they die. Mm -hmm. And it, um, I, I, I've known gay people all my life. You don't work in the dancing business without knowing them. A lot of them that are my age are basically not happy about having, you know, well, you know, they're basically, well, you're gay. Well, I don't need to have people tell people I'm gay. It's just like a black person doesn't want people, well, you got this role because you're black. They don't want to hear that. No, they don't want to. I mean, I knew Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier said he would not take a role written for a black man. He finally did, though. He played Justice Marshall mm. because he wanted that role. He wanted to be the first Supreme Court judge. Well, that's so it's the only time, and that, and guess who's coming to dinner because it was actually a comedy making fun of two fuddy daddies who were so white. From, <laughs> yeah. So to him, a comedy is different. So, but they don't want to take, uh, like, for instance, Latino. Okay, Ricardo Montalban did not like playing Latin, so he played he played everybody you can think of, including Latins. And Putin voices concerns over tensions in the South and Southeast. Yeah, they're going to take the rest of the country and Obama. Well, we can still reach a diplomatic. I love that. We can reach a diplomatic solution. They said they're in the Ukraine and they're in the Crimea, but we can still reach a diplomatic where they're in the Ukraine. They're not going out, but we can reach a diplomat. The guy, he, his diplomatic solutions do not work. Period. And then this is a good one. The while there's this battle going on. Well, we can still we still consider the Russians our partner, and we will be doing a lot of good things, such as although we're going to be working on the international arms treaty with the Russians, in which we give up more of our power power, and they give up nothing again. That uh, uh, that's a treaty that that no one got passed in the Senate. So, but Obama is not going to care because he's going to he's signing the internet away. He's going to sign gun control over to the UN, and he'll probably sign the control of our military over to Putin very shortly. And California court speeds review of adverse ruling on bullet train project. Well, yeah, because the, the okay, you cannot cross these, these okay, uh, these uh, basically uh, federally mandated game you know preserves and marshlands cannot be crossed, and then the fact that uh, you they're going to use the power of eminent domain to force farmers to sell their stuff. Well, no, you have to cut through the marshlands, which they cannot. You know why there is no bullet train going to going to um, 
Las Vegas from Riverside? Why? Because you have to go through the Bureau of Land Management's grounds and they don't give you permission to put trains through them. Oh. Okay. And another group of 60 migrants who tries to enter the U.S. Well, they, they don't have to worry because one of the people said they expect every colder will be there personally to lead them you know, across the border because there are no there are no such things. They're basically, uh, one guy said this morning, you know, if 10 million more want to come across, uh, Pres President Obama and the, and the leadership of the Democratic Party will be there to greet each one of them personally. And lawsuits could lead to changes at fish hatcheries? Yep, they're going to shut the, uh, you know, Okay. What? Well, because the fish hatcheries are impugning, we need, they uh, they want to shut down all of the hatcheries because the hatcheries are mixed. The hatcheries are putting a different type of fish into the system than nature created. So therefore, they uh, they want the hatcheries shut down. And uh, they said, well, we'll kill the fish population. They said, no, it won't because you stop fishing and uh, you stop the fishing and then you won't be harvesting so therefore the native fish in the original form will come back which is not going to happen because the, the, the system has changed for fish hatcheries now. And um, Republicans war for Tea Party Canada at California Convention? Yeah, because, he, because he's, got, uh, he's basically running against Jerry Brown. They said how many decades does a person, uh, should you allow a person to be governor of the state of California? This would be the guy's, I think, fifth term as governor, and it, I mean, his father was there for four terms. It's just like a dynasty, and he's on the wrong side of all the issues in the state. You know, raising taxes, chasing businesses out. When you got uh, Governor Perry of Texas coming to the local TV stations out here, we have jobs for people like you in Texas. You know, I know. And we don't, and we're not, we won't tax you everything that you make. We have, we have better educational system. We have a better social system than you have, we have a better health care system, and you can keep most of your money. So mm -hmm. it's never good for Brown to have a campaign like that going on. No. And Malaysia Airlines mistake, stolen passports, soft underbelly of air security. Well, yeah, because basically if they don't bother it, okay, here's the trick is, you can always change the picture on a passport, and they've been doing it for decades, but the information on it uh, is not going to match up to your personal information. So like if you're supposed to be 65 years old and you look like you're 19, <laughs> nope, and it's on the passports, folks. It is there. And the judge calls Tennessee gay marriage ban historical footnote. Do Southerners now agree? No, they don't. Uh, they, they, they say young Republicans have decided that gay marriage is the answer to all their problems. And here's the trick is, I heard this is what a football a football player that lost his job yesterday as an announcer said. He understands I'm too old. Said I'm straight. I've been married to the same woman for 50 years. I don't take drugs, and I'm not. And I uh, and I actually was t-boying long before t-bow because he said, as you know, when I had bad days, I really was bad, and I would get down on my knees and pray to God, may the next play actually work. <laughs> so he said that isn't that's not good for being a, in pro sports anymore because he said to be a non to non be uh, a, be a Catholic or a Jew be a straight person be a grandfather and be white he said you don't want to have that combination on your team. Mm -hmm. And Edward Snowden wins UK University role. Yeah, so uh, Snowden basically I love this. They said they're wanting Snowden to come back here voluntarily because his friend Putin, they said, look what his friend Putin is doing. Well, he's not a friend of Putin. Oh, he, you know, he basically, here's the trick is, the law is the law is the law. If you don't like the law, change the law. Don't break the law. And it is forbidden. I heard people on Fox you know, two nights ago, that a lawyer questioning him, is, tell, is the, does the NSA have authority to spy on people in the United States? He said, well, no. Was the NSA spying on people in the United States? Yes. He said, in other words, they were breaking the law, weren't they? He said, yes. And what did Snowden do? Snowden blew the whistle on a bunch of people that were criminals. And under the whistleblowing act, he is not a criminal. He's basically doing the job that he's supposed to do, which is to point out that these people were basically, like they said, how in the hell can the NSA not know where that airplane is when they know where, they said they know when a person is going to the toilet in their own house but can't find an airplane. And a monster bubble is for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, there's no need to hide it once it's been seen already.